What's up guys? <laughs> so today I'm looking at some Harbor Freight stuff here that I don't think works, <laughs> or at least works very well. Uh, so obviously Harbor Freight, right? They're not known to have the best tools. However, I've really found that they're kind of hit and miss. A lot of their stuff is actually really good, very well priced. Uh, but yes, there are some tools I certainly wouldn't maybe trust uh, in quality, all right? Uh, particularly power tools. Uh, some of their hand tools are actually really nice. Uh, depending on you know which branding you get there, uh, but usually when I'm going to Harbor Freight I'm getting odds and ends, you know little screws little hangers things like that I'm not necessarily buying my tools from there uh, So I don't have a whole lot of experience with their tools outside of maybe some of their hand tools However, I always find interesting little things there, right? So I picked up this eye loop set. All right, you guys know I love my jewelers loop I've used it many many times. I, I've had a couple of them over the years uh, the most recent one that I have has like a little built-in LED, which is cool, but although the battery's dying, so it's getting kind of weak. Um, but I saw these for $3.99, and I thought, oh, that'd be cool to have. It's a five-piece set, all right, so they're individually, you know, pieced. It's not like it, it's adjustable or anything. There's supposed to be a 2X, a 3X, a 5X, a 7X, and a 10X, all right? So obviously the X is multiplied how many times? So like a 3X is three times the size. A 10x, you're looking at something, it would be 10 times its normal size. All right, so sometimes I'm looking at details on silver coins. Uh, I'm looking at, you know, knife stuff occasionally. So that's what I'm usually using these uh, for. But I brought this home yesterday, popped it open, and I was very disappointed with what I found. And I want your opinion to see if you're seeing what I'm seeing. <laughs> so first off, there are five in there, all right? Uh, on the picture, they're all marked white. All right, if I can let that focus here, I'll show you the box, the advertisement here. You can see they're white markings, all right, but they're actually not white. In fact, this one, oh, there we go. So let me zoom in and show you. Not that it's a big deal, I don't really care. But this one is the, the 3X, all right? So you can see 3X, right? So let's put these in order. We have, which one is this? This is a 2X, all right, so 2X, a 3X, and we have nothing. This one is not marked, all right. This one is the 7X, let that focus, all right, so this one should be the 5, yes, so that's marked the 5. All right, so 2, 3, 5, 7, and then a mystery. Now, I'm assuming this is the 10. There's no markings on it, but that's the only one that we're missing, right? So we'll put that off to the side here. So I'm going to give you an example of how these work. So I took these out yesterday. I literally started with the 2X. These were just wrapped in, each one was wrapped individually in plastic. So I took out the 2X. I looked at something. I thought, oh, it's cool. It works great. Took out the 3X, looked at the same thing, and thought, there's no difference. <laughs> so then I looked at the 5, and then the 7, and then the mystery one, and they, they all look the same to me. They all look like 2X. I don't really know. So today I'm using a, uh, a little knife here that I'm going to do a separate video on, uh, an antique knife, which is very cool. It has a, a sterling silver uh, handle. Um, but we're going to use this as an example. This actually says sterling down on the bottom on this side. All right, so it's hard to see. You know, let me zoom in, see if I can see with the zoom. Let me zoom all the way in, see if that will focus. It will. You can see it. Right at the bottom says sterling. All right, but you can see, you know, compared to my fingernail, how big that is. It's quite small, right? So it's something you would use maybe a jeweler's loop for. All right, so we're going to try a little experiment here. I zoomed in a little with the camera just for the lighting purpose, because if I don't zoom in, it's going to be blown out. There's no light to see anything. But I'm going to keep my hand steady. I'm going to go through all of these different uh, versions, starting with the two. All right, and we're going to see if there's any difference. So here's the two. All right. And it looks good. That's the actual size, right? If I let that focus a second. And when I bring this over, it looks about twice the size, right? It's actually magnifying it. So that's nice, that's the two. Put that off to the side, grab the three. We're gonna make sure it's the three. I put these in order, but there we go. I can see that, three X. Okay, I haven't moved my hand. Let's try this. Let it focus if I can, there we go. Looks good. But to me, it looks like the two. I don't know. You guys be the judge. 
let's just try the 5. Alright, so that's the 5. 5x. Is it 5 times the size? Doesn't look like it. Looks like uh, the same as the 2. All right, let's try the 7. There's the 7x. Get that to focus there. Alright. The 7x does look like it might be more magnification if I get that to focus. So, eh, maybe. That might look a little bit, a little bit bigger. Can't really get that to, to focus for you. Now, obviously, if I, if I come in closer and further, it changes it a little bit. But I'm, when I'm doing this, what you can't tell from the video is that I'm the same distance from the knife with every try. You know what I mean? So there we go. That's focused. That looks like it might be a little bigger. All right. And then the mystery one, which is supposed to be the 10. But let's see. No, that looks like the 2 again. So the only one that looks bigger, let me see, side by side. That one. Go back to the 7. The 7 does look a little bit bigger to me. A little bit bigger for sure. But it's certainly, <laughs> certainly not accurate. So that's uh, just kind of the point here. The first time I've been disappointed by Harbor Freight. I'm sure if you guys shop there all the time, you probably have other things that have disappointed you. Uh, a lot of the stuff, obviously, is, you know, cheaper Chinese-made tools and, you know, different random things here and there. I do actually get a lot of the random stuff, you know. I'm generally not going in there to get tools. You know, I'll get, like, tarps. You know, I got a, a bunch of uh, moving blankets from them. They're totally fine. You know, it's super, super cheap. Um, you know, they work great. I've gotten a lot of their uh, hard cases before for storage for knives. You know, uh, they're kind of rip-off Pelican cases. Those work totally fine. Those are, are priced right. Um, I just picked up a couple of their folding knives, which you guys will see a video on. A lot of people are interested in their folding knives and the quality and stuff, so I'm going to do videos on those. Uh, so, you know, generally speaking, very happy with Harbor Freight. This one was a total bust, though. Uh, but you guys give me your opinions. Am I not seeing it right? I know you guys, or some of you anyway, might say, well, you know, it's different because of the distance. You know, obviously, the, the further away, the higher the magnification. It doesn't work like that. I'm, I'm holding it in the same spot with every example. That I'm giving you guys. Let me see again with the lighting here. I'm not sure if this is going to even show you. All right, it does magnify it a little bit, but even like I said, if I came way out here, it's not changing much. You know what I mean? In fact, maybe this is even better. Let's see that compared to that one, which is different compared to this one. Ooh, I don't know. That looked a little bit about the same. Feel like I'm doing an eye test. Which is better, this one or this one? This one or this one? It's hard to show this in a camera, you know. But you know, I played around with this for probably 20 minutes last night <clears throat> when I uh, got home, and I just couldn't tell the difference. That the seven, I don't remember. Is this the seven? The seven did look a little bit better, a little bit more magnification. All right, than the rest. But the rest look pretty much the same. I don't know. Now it looks the same to me. So who knows? But I'm kind of convinced that these are literally all the same thing. <laughs> the same exact lens and just different markings on it. But I don't really know. Let me know if you have experience with the Harbor Freight five-piece eye loop set. Eh, like I said, kind of a bust. Um, I'll probably actually just give these to my niece and nephew to play around with so they can look at bugs and stuff. <laughs> and leaves really close, you know. But anyway, that's all. Hope you guys have a, a great day. Stay tuned. I will do a video on this uh, very cool old knife. Uh, and that's pretty much it for now. Have a good one. See you guys tomorrow.